Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the new Tarte Man Eater Mascara. This recently launched and so I decided I needed to try it out, of course, because I'm obsessed with mascaras. So if you want to hear all of my first impressions, then just keep watching. This is what the packaging of the new Tarte Man Eater Mascara looks like. It's just a gold metallic box with the purple and black leopard print and it just says Man Eater Voluptuous Mascara. I have mine in the color black. I believe that might be the only color that it comes in right now since it did just launch. Um, when you open it up, this is what the tube looks like. It's a pretty thick tube and it just has the exact same um, pattern on the tube. This is the wand. As you can see, it has teeny tiny bristles. And I actually haven't tried a wand like this yet. I do like that it's still a good size wand because I do like bigger wands, but I haven't tried one with a small bristle. So I was really interested to see what all the hype was about. This mascara is exclusive to Ulta. So if you want to get your hands on it, you will have to go to Ulta or grab it online. And it is $23, which is right around the same price as other Benefit Too Faced Tarte mascaras. So I think it's right in that range. If you are a high-end mascara user, then this is not going to be like any sticker shock. It's just kind of the norm. I took a look at the Ulta website to see what the claims were. And it says, dress your lashes like you style your hair with this lengthening, curling, and volumizing mascara. With a soft flax brush and lightweight triple black formula, it lifts lashes at the roots, styles and fans them out to create amped up, fluttery fullness with no flaking or clumping. The custom molded brush features hundreds of flexible bristles to curl and coat your lashes with even intense pigment for 23 times more volume, powered by length straightening jojoba and carnauba wax. Okay, so I'm sure I pronounced those last two ingredients wrong, but I was interested when it said curling, lengthening, and volumizing because that is everything that you want in a mascara. But I normally use two different mascaras at the same time because I'm a little bit extra and I just love mascara. So if this can give me all of those features in one mascara, that would be amazing. I tried this out on my lashes today. It's what I'm wearing and I feel like my lashes are still like they're still soft, they're not super crunchy. I don't know if you've ever used a mascara that your lashes just feel like super stiff and that is not how this is. My lashes are still really soft and I feel like they're holding their curl. I've had it on for a few hours now and I do feel like it separated them and also gave them volume. I did two coats and so I could definitely build up more volume after I did my first coat and um, I just, I absolutely love this. I think for $23, it's a great, great mascara. Um, I have so many mascara favorites, so to make me stray away from one of the ones I absolutely love takes a lot, but this one is definitely one of those ones that if you are a big mascara junkie like I am, or if you're just looking for a great mascara that can do the job for you, I would highly, highly recommend this one. Um, as far as packaging, A+, I think it's awesome, it's adorable. Um, I don't like wearing leopard print, but I think this is kind of like a fun, cool mascara. Um, I actually really, I loved the wand. I was a little worried about it because the bristles are so short, but I felt like I was really able to like get in there at the roots and I had a lot of control and a lot of the longer bristled brushes, I feel like I don't have as much control when I'm trying to separate my lashes, but this one I did. And even the end I was able to use to kind of separate the ones towards the outer edge of my eye. Um, I also think the bristles would be perfect to coat your lower lashes. I personally don't wear mascara on my lower lashes because they're so long that they touch the bottom of my eye and I just end up with like a big black line at the end of the day and it's not worth it. But for those of you who do use mascara on your bottom lashes, I would think that this would be amazing for that as well just because the bristles are so much shorter so you can get into those smaller hairs. Overall, I'm giving this product an A+. I absolutely love it, and I don't really have anything bad to say about it at all. So if you're looking for a new mascara, I highly recommend you go out and grab this one. Like I said, it'll be available in stores on the 26th, or you can grab it online at ulta.com right now. I will link it down below in case you are interested. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below to catch all of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.